Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a video in collaboration with Farmers, which is so exciting for me. This is like really, really, really exciting. It's the biggest company that I've worked with so far. So if you guys follow Farmers on Instagram or if you receive their newsletters, you might have seen my face in there because I am one of their beauty bloggers. And today I'm here to talk to you guys about Farmers Beauty Week. Farmers Beauty Week is running from the 17th of March to the 22nd of March. This year Farmers Beauty Week has three main themes. They are everyday skincare, finding your perfect foundation and a fragrance wardrobe. So in conjunction with those themes they've got giveaways going on so all you need to do is go to the links down below their Instagram, their Twitter, their Facebook and check it out and then you can go in to win one of three different pies packs. They're being drawn on Thursday, Saturday and Monday I believe and each winner is going to win a year's worth of fragrance, skincare and foundation up to the value of $1000 which is an awesome giveaway so definitely do check out the links down below to find out more information about that. But today I'm going to be going through some of the favourite things that I got in a lovely beauty box, a box of goodies from Farmers which I pretty much cried when I saw because I love new product and there's quite a lot of brands that I haven't tried in here so I'm just going to be showing you guys some of the things I really like in here and I'm also going to show you what I bought from Farmers as well. If you want to see everything that's in this beauty box, because I'm only going to show probably like five or six things, I'll leave a link down below to a Q&A that I did do with Farmers and they have a picture on there of my full beauty box. So the first product in here that I really have been enjoying is the L'Oreal Alviv Extraordinary Oil. Now this is obviously a hair oil and I haven't applied it today so I might pump a little bit in but you can apply this to wet hair, you can apply it to hair before you wash it or you can put it in dry hair. So I just take about a pump, rub it in between my hands. It smells like kind of cinnamony or something and I just run that through the ends of my hair and then I slowly work it up and it's really good for taming flyaways so I just really gently when I'm at the root sort of try and pat down some flyaways. It just gives your hair a really nice amount of moisture and it just makes it really nice and smooth and shiny which obviously is a good thing. Next is a product that I am wearing right now and it is the Natio Brow Kit. I have actually heard lots of things about this over the years. I never really had the intention of trying it because I always thought that the clear wax products were useless but this is so good. So what I do is I take the wax product and I just grab it with my finger and I just rub it over my brow to smooth down my hairs. Then I use the lighter brown to do the inner part and the darker brown for the outer part and then it gives me this sort of look here which I've really been loving. They're really nice quality shadows and wax and you also get a little mini brush, spoolie and tweezers which is really cute. Next is something that I squealed about when I saw it in the box, it's the Lancome Grandiose Mascara and this is so luxurious, it's got a really interesting wand, like I don't know if you can see but it's like curvy but I feel like this makes me get into my lashes so 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 well and I love the brush and it gives me a really nice volumized effect. I'm not wearing it today but it gives me even more volumized lashes than these which is great and it smells, it just smells expensive too so I really love this one. Next is a nail polish, this one's from OPI and I don't normally wear regular nail polishes, I normally stick to gels but this one is an exception, I'm wearing it on my nails right now. It's Is My Tie Crooked and it's like, what I want to call it is a mustard orange, like it's nothing like any of my other orange nail polishes that I own. It's more of a yellowy orange and like all OPI products it has a really nice lasting power. Especially because I paired it with a top coat and the top coat that I received is the Miracle Gel Top Coat. I do actually already have this, I have another one of these and it just really seals your nails and I don't know if you can tell on camera but it gives them that like gel like shine which is really really beautiful. Um, and I've had this on for three days so far and I've only got one tiny little chip which for me is amazing because normally polishes just like fall off of my nails. I don't know what it is but these two paired together have been a match made in heaven. Next in my box I have three lip products that I want to mention. This is two. There's another one that I can't hold on to but the first is the Burt's Bees Lip Crayon and I love this. I'm wearing it right now. It's really really lovely. This is so a my lips but better kind of colour. It's in Carolina Coast and these are stunning. I swatched a bunch of the other ones and I do really like them but for the price they just feel like a lip balm but they give you just the most beautiful amount of colour. The other lipstick that I wanted to show you guys, um, I'll hold off on the other one because this video is getting a bit long already. The one that I really really love is from Elizabeth Arden and this packaging is just like hello it's insane. This is in Coral Crush number 42 and it is the beautiful colour moisturising lipstick and I don't know how well you guys can see but it's got a little like Elizabeth Arden door like I don't know cut into it it's so stunning and I'll just swatch this one for you on my hand it's such a beautiful 
creamy, pigmented, delicious smelling coral lipstick and I've worn this a couple of times and I find that it lasts really well on the lips and it's very very flattering. Such a stunning colour. Very, very my cup of tea if you guys know what I like. And the final product that I wanted to show you guys is a sunscreen and it's by Antipodes. I actually had never tried anything from Antipodes before so I was really excited to try this out. I also have a couple of other brands in here that I've never tried but I haven't actually played around with the products yet so I don't want to talk about them and say that they're great if I haven't tried them if you know what I mean. But I have tried this sunscreen and it is the Immortal SPF 15 Natural Sun Protection Face and Body Moisturizer. I love this packaging, it feels very like pharmaceutical I don't know this is a really nice product because it's so thin and it doesn't give you that horrible white cast like you can see how well it spreads I'll just put some on because I pumped out too much but you can see it's like you don't have that weird blue green purple white cast to your skin and it's just sunken right in and it's not gonna be sticky it's really nice and moisturizing and it doesn't smell that strongly of sunscreen. The only scent that I can really detect in it is almonds, like the sort of almond oil smell because it does have almond oil in it because it's like a moisturizer and a sunscreen. I don't know, I've just really been loving this for my face and my chest when I go to work because when I'm at work, oh, we do fitness once a day, so I need to have sunscreen on and this has been working great because it's just really, really lightweight. So those are my favorite products from the beauty box that Farmer sent me. Again, if you want to see everything that was included in the box, I'll leave it linked off down below. Next, I wanted to show you the stuff that I picked up from Farmers. Farmers were also oh kind as to give me a gift card to go and buy some things from Farmers. So I spent my gift card and I also spent a fair bit of my own money to purchase these items and I wanted to show you guys them because I'm excited. I've been wanting to buy these things for quite a while, so this was a good opportunity for me to go ahead and get them. We'll start off with Chi Chi, because I got three things from Chi Chi, and the first one is this little duo pack. This is their Glamorous Eyeshadow Palettes, and they are so popular here on YouTube. And I don't know why I've never tried them, but I finally got two of them. I bought this packet for the Rich Gems, because I've always wanted this one. Like, the colours look stunning. But the single palette costs $32.50, which is still a great price, but you can buy the duo pack for like $39.99 so I just bought, bought this one and if you wanted to buy like two of these if you only wanted one you may as well buy the two because then you can split it and give one as a gift but I'm going to use both of them it also came with these smokies so if you guys would like to see a tutorial using one of these palettes or both let me know down below tell me which one you'd be more interested in which kind of look you'd like to see because I have been playing around with these and they are really nice quality especially for the price so yeah, I've really been enjoying these. Next I picked up one of the Chi Chi Baked Eyeshadows. This one's in Call Me and it's a light nude shade. I just love the packaging of these. Like when you open them up they've got a little, like a record player. It's so cute. And the packaging itself has a little record on the back and it's really nice and sturdy. But I bought this shade more as a highlight. I think this was the colour that Shannon um, talks about as a highlight. But look at that. It's insane. It's so creamy and shiny and such beautiful quality um, I'm so excited to play around with this more and the final product that I got from Chi Chi is their metallic eyeshadow crayon stick in Barbarella I've seen Shannon and Sally talk about this this was fully like a copycat haul but they always talk about these products I had to try them and this is a really pretty pale gold pencil I think I might have swatched that out of frame but this is so buttery smooth like I can't explain it. I've never tried a liner as buttery smooth as this. Like, it just glides at nobody's business. It's stunning and it's metallic. And I've been wearing this in the inner corner of my eye. I might pop some on now. It's just like, it just takes your look from like boring, like it was boring before. But now it's just got that little hint of a highlight. I just feel like it looks a billion times better now. You know, just, I don't know. Can you see what I mean? It's just stunning. It's like a champagne gold. It's quite a light gold, which I think is really pretty. It's really easy to pull off, like, by itself. And I find that this doesn't crease on me. But I've just really been enjoying it. And as you can see, it's just brightened up my eyes, like, heaps. The final makeup product that I picked out was from Estee Lauder. And this is the All Day Glow Baby Moisture Makeup. And this is in the shade Intensity 1.0. But I just wanted something that lasted a really long time. And I've had this on so far for six hours. And it is still pretty much shine free and it's like a little bit of um like a glow to it but it's because it's a glowy baby cream and it's because it's like I don't know 28 30 degrees I feel like it lasts really great through humidity 
and I've just really been enjoying it. It's got a nice high SPF as well, so if I forget to apply my sunscreen, my face is still protected from, you know, the sun's harmful rays. The only thing I will say about it though is that it is very, very light coverage. I apply one coat over my face and it sort of just, just starts to cover up my acne scarring, so if you are quite blemish prone or if you have a lot of acne, active breakouts and scarring, you'll probably need to pair this with a high coverage concealer, which could kind of defeat the purpose, but if you have really perfect skin, this could be like a go-to product for you. Next I picked up some nail polishes. I got this one from Orally, completely unplanned. I tried to plan my haul before I went in, because otherwise I get distracted and I buy stuff like this. This is a stunning nail polish. It's from the Orly Color Blast range, and these are so inexpensive. I think it was like between $12.99 and $16 or something, and it, that's really inexpensive for like a full-size nail polish, but this is in the shade Scarlet Color Flip. And I don't know how well you guys will be able to see on camera because in real life when you look at it right dead on it's a very very interesting like duochrome colour. Dead on it looks green and then around that you have purple, then red, then gold. It's it's just insane. It's so stunning. On the lip on the lips? No. On the nails, the majority of these colours do transfer so you get a very similar effect on the nail. I just love this. And when I actually bought these products there was a deal on. It's probably changed by now but with any purchase of an Oli nail polish you got a free mini nail polish remover. This one's non-acetone which is great because it's not harmful for your nails. But I'm mostly excited because I can pop this at my boyfriend's house and it can stay there all the time so I don't have to worry about carting nail polish to and from my house to his house. I also picked up my new all-time favourite gel nail polish. I love the Gelac nail polishes. I have a lot of them. But this shade, to my knowledge, is new. Or I had never seen it before. One or the other. It's called Neon Fashion. And it just... I don't know if you can see that colour. Like, this is true to what it looks like. It's this insanely bright pink, orangey... Pinky, orangey, coral colour. Kind of like that highlighter that's not pink and it's not orange, is it like coral coloured highlighter, if you know what I mean, it looks exactly like that and for $12.99 you literally cannot go wrong, this is very good quality as well. I've only got three products left, I promise I'm nearly there, the next product is one from, I think it's OGX is the brand, but it's the Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco Intense Moisturising Treatment and I bought this because my hair, as you can tell, is ombre and... I just need some extra moisture in my life. I've run out of my previous hair mask, so I thought this was a good opportunity to get a new one. I've used this product once, and you have so much product in here. I used way too much the first time. I've let my list now. You need, like, barely any. I'm trying to, like, think of how I can explain it to you guys, but you literally need, like, barely any product. This smells amazing. It smells really fresh and clean, but I feel like it's got an underlying hint of man scent. If, like, you know what I mean? Man cologne smell. A masculine smell. It's really nice and it's one of those hair masks that actually makes your hair soft. Like in the shower when I washed out I was kind of like, oh it doesn't really feel that soft. Like it kind of just felt clean. But then when I got out and dried my hair I was like, oh my god my hair's never been this soft before. And like right now after using that oil in this um, hair mask you would have thought that my hair was like naturally this colour. Like it doesn't seem like it's been bleached. It's amazing. Finally I have two repurchases that I had to mention to you guys because these are like two of my go-tos from Farmers. So first of which is the Biore Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. You can buy this product in two different boxes. Bear with me. You can buy one that's got six pore strips for the nose or you can buy this one which has got seven nose and seven face strips. This one is 50 cents more so always buy this one if they've got it in stock because even if you're just going to use the nose strip, it's only 50 cents for an extra nose strip. But, yeah, I really love the face strips for my forehead. I need to do one up there right now because it's really congested. This just helps to pull out any impurities. Like, right now, if you guys are watching this, run your fingers down your nose. And if you can feel little bumps, that's what the pore strips will pull out. And it just makes your makeup sit so much nicer. I really need to use one because around my nose is really congested. So I'm probably going to use these this weekend. I like to use them about once every week or two weeks, depending on how fast, you know, your nose cloggage builds back up. But yeah, these are definitely a must-have for me. And the final product is one that should be no surprise to you guys. It's my Batiste Dry Shampoo in Sassy and Daring Wild. I just love this stuff. My hair doesn't need it, but... For the sake of the video, spray it in. And all you do, you just buy this, go buy it right now. All of you need this. You spray it in, it kind of gives your hair a slight white cast, but then you just scrunch your roots. It's a really nice head massage too. Perfectly clean roots. I love Batiste's dry shampoos, but this has the best scent. It just smells nice and chocolatey or something. Reminds me of a chocolate sort of scent, but I love it. It just gives you instant volume, instant clean hair, and 
it just means that you don't have to wash your hair for another day or two days or three days however long you want to keep it for but that stuff seriously kills oil in your hair. That is everything that I have to show you guys today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you want to, I'd love if you guys could comment down below and tell me what your favourite product is from Farmers or what your favourite product was from my haul. I seriously probably couldn't pick a favourite, but if I had to, if I was held at gunpoint, I'd have to say it's the Batiste Dry Shampoo because this is just amazing. Don't forget, if you have a favourite product or a product that you've just bought from Farmers, share it on Instagram, Facebook or Twitter with the hashtag Founded at Farmers so that I can check it out and so that Farmers can check it out. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and also thank you all so much for your support because without you guys, cool stuff like this video wouldn't be able to happen. So yeah, thanks again and I love you all and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!